Wow, that's the best Ultra Man movie I ever see. The Let's Go Ultra Man movie I saw is Tiger movie and she not from it. Who the hell is Tiger? The son of Ultra Man Taro. Tiger did not. So I shot off everybody and my name is the Melo Boy. 2024 feeding Tokusatsu fans with animations. As an animation student and Toku fans, I, I, I feeling. <coughs> These Tokusatsu animations literally give some inspiration to me, you know. Next semester, I'm going to do a 2.5D animation, also known as hybrid animation. What? Ultraman Rising, a W movie. This movie is about Ultraman taking care of a baby kaiju. <laughs> I kinda heard about it somewhere. The 2D 3D hybrid animation is very good. I was surprised after seeing the animation style. The mix of anime and comic book slash manga is mwah, chef kiss. The action part is better than Spider Verse. Start right there, Spider Man fans. As a Spider Man fan, I naturally agree with this statement. The characters are amazing. The thirst toward Ken Sato is crazy. That one time, I saw one of my friends WhatsApp status about an edit of Ken Sato. The caption was crazy! Some of my other female friends also do this, but not with a crazy captions. The antagonist is not a villain. Watch the movie, and I guarantee you'll love it. Next up is... Sentai Dai Shikaku, aka Go Go Loser Ranger, aka Ranger Reject. How many names do you got? It's an anime. Oh, it's a Power Rangers anime? Power Rangers if the Rangers are corrupted. I hate using Power Rangers term. This show is inspired by Super Sentai franchise. Remember my King Oja video? It's part of the franchise. But Sentai da Shikaku isn't. The main character is not the Rangers. It is this foot soldier, Fighter D. He just want to kill the Rangers to achieve world domination. You guys watch The Boys? Does nobody come back pregnant? Basically, that series also an influence to this show other than Super Sentai. If you guys are into freaky stuff and deserve to be in jail, this series gives some fan service, which I don't like it a bit. The animation this sucks. That is 3D animation. Single single. That's just a god. I have no problem with that actually. They overused the 3D animation. It's not that bad for me. I bet the deadline are tighter. I guess. The characters are fine actually. My favorite character is Hibiki Sakurama. He have this mindset to be pleased with the enemy. Bro has no enemy, which I love it. I saved the last one for the best. It is... Kaiju number 8! This anime is better than One Piece. The anime though, not the Netflix adaptation one. I just hate One Piece classers, that's it. Kaiju number 8 is about this guy, Kafka Hibino. My favorite character anime cause he's funny and relatable. Who after ingesting a parasitic creature and turned into a kaiju. Eh? But it's a human sized kaiju, but super strong. I love the concept of this series which is take an interesting turn in kaiju genre. Just like Ultraman, human that able to turn into a giant alien to fight kaiju. Human turns into kaiju? Hell yeah! Even the design is wonderful. For one of my final projects, this kaiju, Mahabaya, literally got an inspiration from this kaiju number 8 fan art. How about the animation? It's wonderful! I was kinda shocked when the kaiju wasn't 3D at all. Except this scene where I noticed it was 3D. And the opening. The opening is good though, no complaining. No one cares about the 3D animation. As long as the storytelling is wonderfully awesome. People won't realize the bad thing. The fight scene also good. They didn't sexualize the characters. Let's go! Which is good actually. That's why kaiju number 8 is golden. What can I say about this animation is... It's good in general, you won't regret it. Share this video, subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. See you guys next time.